If there is one Republican candidate that's going to have to prove themselves to, to knock off those previous misconceptions, I think it's going to be Blake Farenthold in those, in those pajamas. You know, we saw with Sharon Angle and, 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 and uh, Ken Buck in Colorado that S Senate's candidates, when the bright lights were put on, the public got to see some, a lot of their flaws, and uh, it likely hurt them at the end as they both lost. And in the House, that mattered much less. Blake Farenthold uh, ran against Solomon Ortiz in Texas. Ortiz was one of those last-minute Democrats that found himself in trouble at the very la the last few weeks of the campaign. Um, and Democrats threw out a, uh, put out a mailer and, and distributed uh, here in D.C. especially a, a, a picture of uh, his challenger, Blake Farenthold, in pajamas. It sort of has done its job in the sense that a lot of Washington is talking about Farenthold in the sense of the only thing they know him about is these pajamas. He is sort of a no-name candidate up here. Alan West uh, in Florida's 22nd district, he beat Ron Klein. He had so much baggage that I don't think Democrats thought they had enough airtime to, to, to show it all on. Uh, he had, you know, he shot over the head of an Iraqi, an Iraqi detainee in, a, in Iraq. They also connected him to the Outlaws motor, a Motorcycle Gang. Uh, Scott Desjarlais in, in Tennessee, Democrats thought they had a gold mine when they saw that he had uh, in divorce records that were, you know, pretty inflammatory accusations. And they aired them in a, in a very uh, descriptive TV ad. Um, and they thought they could take him down, and, and he won by five against a, a Southern Democrat in Lincoln Davis who, who had been uh, unbeatable. And if their pass are any indication, they're not going to be able to be hauled in in the conventional types of ways. Leadership normally tries to, to fit these guys into, and get them into to vote. So that's going to be very difficult for the leadership, I think, uh, to, to, to corral, and to, to get in place in the next couple months.